We got the trifecta for breakfast this morning. Toast, bacon, eggs. Just something quick and easy because we've got a full day today. We're finally getting to them pineapples. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to From the Holler. I just came in out of the garden. Another cucumber ready. We're going to put that right over there because we're going to have that with supper tonight. Some more tomatoes. That. I know. We've had so much rain and humidity and all the things. And then look at all of the lemon boys. We're going to put these back here on the counter. Some of them are ripe, some of them are not. Some of them need to finish ripening and they're doing a good job here. And then I'm just going to throw all them in the freezer for right now until I get a good run. Because if you've ever canned tomatoes, you know that it takes a whole lot of tomatoes for a little bit of product. I got some. Oop. Get that out of there. I got some okra. Okri. <laughs> now that may not seem like a lot to y'all. But that's a good mess. And I think I'm going to fix that for supper tonight. So stick around and I'll show you how to cook it. How I cook it anyway. I gave a few more of my onions a good haircut. Just a few. So I'm going to use these. They're fresh. I'm going to use these in the uh, tater cakes tonight. Because I like to have some good onions. And then I got a whole bunch more white half runner beans. I'm going to wash them up, get them in the fridge. I think I'm about close to having a small run that I can put in the canner. That's one thing that I really love about having this electric canner. It's the fact that I can run small runs and not worry about it. You know, I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, it's the big super de duper canner and all that. I don't have to worry about that. I can run one quart, I can run two quarts, three pints, whatever, and it's all good. So that's another reason why I love my electric canner. So, I am going to go get all this produce washed up and ready to go. And uh, let's move on to the next chore. Yes, 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 I am putting off starting them pineapples. But I know I've got two today. So, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I'm procrastinating, okay? <sighs> yeah. All right, y'all. Let's go get this produce washed. All right, y'all. It's time to cook supper. Let's get this going. Got my leftover mashed potatoes. We'll dump them out into this big bowl right here. We're going to cook them all up tonight. Put that over there in the sink. And I'm just going to give these a quick little stir. I'm going to add probably about a cup of this Kobe Jack. Somewhere in there. We're making loaded potato cakes. Let me stir that in. See how we like that. I don't have a recipe for this. I just add as I go. I've got some vegetable oil in my skillet over here. And I probably need to be heating that up. I'm going to add a little bit more cheese. Oh, I don't guess you can have too much cheese. We're fixing to find out. All right, so there's that. I've got my fresh onion greens from the garden this morning. So I'm just going to take them like this. I'm going to use my kitchen shears. They are clean. And I am just going to snip some of these in because all that onion flavor is right there in them. 
Let's see how we like that. Maybe a couple more. Like that right there. we've already got the sour cream in here so we just add the green onions and the cheese because remember we put the sour cream in our mashed potatoes when we made them so now I've got self-rising flour right here and I am just going to pour a little in there for right now because all you want to do is for it to be able to you don't want to add too much because you can't take it back out okay so you can add to it, but you can't take it away. But you just want your potato cake to hold together. So let's get this mixed up. And I'm going to have to get my hands in there because I can tell whether or not it's going to do right. Just by feeling it. So let me lay that over here. And let me go ahead and turn my skillet on. This is kind of like making biscuits. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> and we'll just do a test patty here. It's really sticking to my hands. So you just roll it up. Kind of press it out a little bit. And I think that needs a little bit more flour. Just a tiny bit. Let me go rinse my hands off real quick. Be right back. Okay. Just a wee bit more flour. We don't need a whole lot. There we go. I wish I could tell you it's an exact amount, but I can't. Never have been. These are something that I just make. And I just know. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things. One of those recipes. You don't want them dry. But you don't want them real wet either. There's that sweet in between. In all of that. You want to, be, want them to be able to fry up and have a crispy outside. But they kind of have a moist inside if that makes sense all right let's try this oh yeah much better much better we're gonna get these in we're having leftovers tonight these potato cakes and we're just cleaning out the fridge we are just cleaning out the fridge. Oh yeah. That grease was perfect. Mine are never the same size. And that's okay. It's rustic. You don't want them to be too thick. Because they won't get warm in the center. Now, if you wanted to add some bacon bits, you could add that in here. That'd be really good. Finish off the loaded part of it. I did not go get any bacon bits out of the freezer. Now that I think about it, it would have <laughs> it would have been sweet. But I did not. These are really easy to make, y'all. And you can make them whether you have, you know, 
mashed potatoes with sour cream in or not. You can add the sour cream in if you wanted to just regular mashed potatoes, let them sit in the fridge overnight and then pull them out and do this. You can add a little sour cream to them to make them loaded. You can make these with whatever you want to, okay? You can make it with veggies or spices or whatever you want to put in your potato patty. Now it doesn't take long for these to cook, so you want to kind of watch them, okay? Because they will burn on you, and you will cry. Whoop! Got stuff flying out at me. Alright, if y'all can see, I don't know if you can or not, but the edges are browning up all nice and crisp and looking good over here. So we're going to flip them. Be careful because... That grease will pop out and will burn you. Like I said, it doesn't take very long for these to cook. You just want the outside to be good and crispy. And the inside is going to get all hot. And it's just, I don't know, so good. So good. So I'm going to go ahead and make up a few more here while those are sitting there frying. We'll make up some small ones. And we'll probably eat on these for a few days. Well, a couple of days because they, don't, they won't last forever, but you know what I mean. You can uh, cook these up. You could put them in the freezer and have them for later if you want to. You could do so many things with it. There's a big piece of onion, but that's okay. That'll be mine. I'll mark that as mine. <laughs> it's been a day y'all it's been a day and I'm ready to sit down and relax eat dinner supper whatever you want to call it eat and just veg out for a little while it has been a day this old girl is tired and I what leftovers we have I will probably let them cool good, and then I'm going to put them in the freezer, and then that way, the next time we want potato cakes, we got them. I can just go in the freezer, pop them out, I'll pop them in the air fryer, or in the oven, or something like that, and they'll be ready to go. And let me get this, I'm going to flip this back over one time, and get a little bit more crispness. <laughs> and it don't want to let go. Oh. Telling y'all, it's been a day. It's been a day. Alright, so those potato cakes are fixing to come out. And then we'll put these others in. See how easy they come together? And y'all will not believe how good these are. Like, seriously. And if you decide to try these, please let me know what you think about them. Because we love them. I mean, I was raised up on this stuff, and I know Pat's was too. And uh, they're just good, y'all. They're just good. All right, let me go rinse my hands off. We'll get these out. Get these out, okay? Ooh, look at there! Oh my goodness! Now you don't have to make them as big as I do. You can make them any size you want to. I made these a little bit bigger, okay? Because I'll be honest with you, I don't want to stand here and have to fry up tater cakes all night. So let's get these others in. Make sure that you've still got plenty of grease in your pan because you don't want 
these to stick and you don't want it to be ow, yucky. And I'm going to turn these down just a wee little bit so that they can cook in the middle too. I've got them on medium now. So they're good to go. Y'all, I got to show you this. Just please. All right, I'm going to put one on this plate. Let me cut this open to show y'all. Okay, let me show you the goodness. Now listen, you listening? You hear that crunch? Oh my goodness! Oh. See, see all the goodness. That's hot. And I know it's hot. Mmm. Oh, y'all. That's perfect. That is perfect. Mmm. Good old tater cakes. Mmm. Yes, now I'm excited for supper. I thought about cooking some okra tonight, but things have just been so hectic today that... I just want to sit down for a little while. I don't know. Just throw something together real quick. Never have one of those nights. Well, I have them quite often, especially when uh, I am super busy, either in the kitchen or out in the garden or with Aiden. Mmm. Those are so good. Mm. Mm. I could make a meal off of that. I really could. Alright, y'all let me get these tater cakes fried up. Get everything heated up. And we'll be right back. Have you hit that subscribe button yet? If you haven't, do it now and there's supper I'm having one of the steaks potato cakes and cucumbers and tomatoes with balsamic glaze I'm using this whoop from Thrive Market not sponsored I just I like Thrive Market for some things and I'm trying that and then Paps had uh, beef and rice casserole with tomatoes and cucumbers with some of the balsamic and tater cakes. So, there's our supper. Aiden says he's not hungry. He will be about the time I sit down to eat. <laughs> he says he's not hungry right now, so we'll wait for just a few minutes until he gets hungry and his plate's waiting on him. So... Let's go eat, y'all. So we decided to run up to the garden before this next storm hits. It's every day a new storm. And this is what we found. All these tomatoes ready to go. Even though we were just up there this morning. This is what we got tonight. So, yeah, I'm getting quite the little variety over there. Some of these are ready to go in the freezer until it's time to can them. <laughs> 